Rumor has it that Windows 8, Microsoft's brand new operating system, is suitable for older computers. I was quite surprised when I saw the specs on their website. I was eager to try this on my resurrected HP Compact 6735B laptop from 2008. Can the aging AMD Samsung single core processor take Windows 8 64-bit brand new operating system? How does the AMD Radeon 3200HD performs and real 3GB of RAM big enough? Does it worth you to buy Windows 8 if you only have your older computer to use with it? See it yourself. Let's start up my laptop which is not end all. This means that you will experience the full boot time of my computer. Yeah, this is the Windows 8 boot screen. This is the login screen. And here we are. Once it's loaded into the Metro interface, your computer is ready to use. By pressing the Windows button, you can easily switch between your desktop and Metro interface. This thing down there, which is originally designed to be a scroller, so it's a great feeling while browsing your apps. If you have got many apps on the screen, you can glide through them using your scroll button. Unlike so many others, I did not experience any particular driver issues. My Wi-Fi and sound were all set up, I only have one little issue here and that's the video card driver. There is no downloadable Windows 8 driver for my video card, so Windows uses its own Microsoft VDDM 1.1 driver for it. This is pretty much just like the original AMD one, but lacks some enabled features like Advanced OpenGL, which makes applications, like Minecraft, not to be able to run. Besides some of the advanced features my video card drivers lack, works pretty much as it should be. I can easily go to YouTube and play any 1080p full HD videos without any problems. The quality is actually very pleasant. The applications start fast, the Windows 8 Design Internet Explorer 10 allows you to access the web quickly and use any website you want. And there's the Calendar app which is also a very useful program in Windows 8, unfortunately I cannot access it right now because I'm not signed in with my Windows Microsoft account. There's the simple build Windows Music application, which I'm actually quite fond of. This app works very well too. You can download music in seconds, buy them, or just listen to a 30 second preview. And there's the Windows App Store. Here you can buy apps and games for your Windows PC or your Xbox. This also works very well. The download times are very short, actually you can find tons of apps here, many of them are my favorites from the Android Play Market or the iTunes. They are labeled just as you would expect. By taking a quick look on my body power meter I have to say that there's a slight improvement in body life compared to Windows 7. That's because Windows 8 is a very portable optimized 
This feature makes good use of old computers too. I have no problems with running many applications in the same time. As an overview, I would say that I am satisfied with Windows 8's performance on my laptop. I would definitely like to use it, since I don't really have any experience with Windows 8 yet. So here was my HP Compact 6735B laptop computer running Windows 8 like a boss. I guess the rumors were true then. You really can put Windows 8 on your computer, which doesn't just have to be a brand new one, but can also be a quite outdated model. Thanks for watching, catch you later guys. I could be saved